Fellow Toastmasters, this educational moment is designed to help you set up a basic Zoom account. The basic Zoom account is free, although it does have a 40 minute time limit. It is an ideal way for you to become familiar with the way we will be hosting our Carrollwood Toastmasters online meetings during this time of social distancing. While we don't know how long this will last, this Zoom platform should allow us to continue meeting as Toastmasters and hopefully give us some sense of normalcy. Once we restart meeting in person again, it may be a good tool to use to perhaps meet with a mentor to go over a speech presentation or a speech contest or just practice your speech and then forward it to someone to view. However you use it, it should be another tool in your Toastmasters tool belt. Now let's get started. Go to a browser and then a search engine. I'm using Google Chrome as my browser and Google as my search engine. In the search engine box, type in zoom.com and then hit enter and then scroll down to the link that says sign up free Zoom. Once you click that, a page should display asking you to enter your email address. And then you should click sign up. Next, a page should display that says we've sent an email to the email address you signed up for and that you should click the confirmation link in that email. So if you go to your email service, and for me, it's an Outlook browser, I have to click send and receive in order to get new emails, yours may be an auto response type program, whatever it is, you should use it. And if you see, there should be a please activate your Zoom account email. If you open that page up, you'll see there's an activate account button that you should click on. Once you click on that, it should launch a another Zoom page, and this will allow you to complete your registration in Zoom. So you need to enter your first name, your last name, and now you have to set up your password. And the password must be at least eight characters long, have at least one letter and one number. It actually has to have two letters because it has to have at least one uppercase in one lowercase character. So I will set up my email, my password, and then I will retype it to confirm it. And then I will click continue. The next page that launches is an option for you to invite colleagues. You don't have to do this, but if you do, you can enter their names and just click I am not on a robot and click invite. For me, I'm going to skip that step and go straight to your meetings and your account. You've now really completed your setup. You can start the meeting now or my suggestion would be to go to my account. If you go to my account, you'll get a message that says due to increased demand and it's primarily because of the social distancing. A lot of people are using these online platforms. Their dial in feature by phone is not available for those with a free basic account. During this time, they recommend that you use the computer audio capabilities, which we'll show in a second. So I would click that close by clicking that X. Now you've 
completed the setup. My suggestion would be for you to go to the meeting button on the left and click that. And then I would go to my personal meeting room and I would set up my personal meeting room. Now your personal meeting room is always going to have a meeting ID of whatever that number is there. And what you need to do is scroll down to the bottom and click edit this meeting. Once you click that, the options for the meeting will be there. You can require or not require a password. That choice is yours. You do need to select host and participant video is turned on. You also need to select, make sure that the both radio button is clicked for audio so that you can use the computer feature and in other times once this social distancing um, requirement that we're experiencing right now, right now passes, you'll be able to use the telephone option in, instead of the computer if you so choose. The other option you can use is enable join before host. What that does is it allows some of the people you've invited to the meeting, if they get there before you, they can enter the meeting room before you actually join. If you don't check that off, they'll get a message saying that you haven't logged in yet. Um, so you can also select record this meeting automatically on your local computer and it'll save it to your local computer. I would recommend you not checking that off. You'll have the option during the meeting if you want to record certain parts of the meeting. That gives you more flexibility in what you want to record. Then you click Save. Now you've, you are all set to start a meeting to practice or get more familiar with Zoom. Also, in the top right is a resource option. If you click that or point your mouse to it, you'll see you have various um, options available to you. You can view some video tutorials to get you more familiar with Zoom. You can actually join some live training sessions. You can go to some webinars and other events. They even have a Zoom blog page in the typical frequently asked questions page. In addition to that, Jim Sims also has some Toastmasters video videos that can help you learn more about Zoom in a Toastmasters environment. So I encourage you to set up a Zoom account and get going and using it as a tool in your Toastmasters toolbox. Thank you.